Yo, James APK, what's up? What is up, everybody? Yo, we just gonna give a nice quick, some quick inspiration, some good energy. We just gonna put it out there. You know what I'm saying? Happy Resurrection Sunday to everybody who believe in my Lord Jesus Christ. If he's your Lord, God bless you. Amen to you. My sister here on the check-in, Liddy. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody for tuning in real quick. I just want to give you some, like I said, some great energy, some words of wisdom. Nothing too crazy. I don't want to take up too much of your time. Because, you know, I'm busy myself. I'm busy myself. So... <laughs> You know, um, this past weekend was amazing. Just amazing, 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 super amazing. So I met a lot of people that I look up to um, in a space where New York City, baby, New York City, the place that never sleeps. You know what I'm saying the place that knows how to have a good time in the midst of all the chaos that surrounds it. So, um, yo, go for what you believe in, man. Go for what you believe in. Like, go for that. What you believe in is your ultimate happy space. Go for that. Whatever that happy space is, whatever it, it it's going to make you be at peace, have ultimate freedom, and stuff like that. You know, you'll always be in a good space of smiles, joy, you know, a, a burst of zestful energy, you know what I'm saying? Go for the stuff you believe in, like, you know what I'm saying? Stop wasting your time on mediocrity when it involves your own energy, people, nature, and whatever else, you know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's not like... It's not like realistically, it's like, um, there's a lot going on. Like, um, when you think about what's really surrounding you in this life right here, um, nature is going to take its course. Like, trees is going to be trees, grass is going to be grass, flowers is going to be flowers. Um, those type of things are going to do what they need to do in its season the only thing that's liable to trouble you or yo herc shout out to my fubu family for real you know what i'm saying um my guy herc i'm definitely gonna give herc his flowers i'm gonna post him up and tell y'all why i'm gonna give y'all early run though herc was the one who believes in me and he brought me into the fubu family and i was able to I'm saying spread my wings in the fu within the fu FUBU establishments. And that was dope because, again, FUBU is a brand that I believe in. Something that we all come across. Um, we all came across, I mean, the 90s coming into the 2000s and things like that. So to, to work with people that I, I saw from, you know, in the stands. It, it it felt good to now be a team player, be an asset to a, a classic, a legendary, a timeless brand. So for me to have um, those relationships um, back in me and, and, and being a part of who I am, like I said, like go for what you believe in. Really go for what you believe in. Cut all the medi mediocrity out of your life. Really just pursue... Um, what you believe in that whatever it is that ult, that ultimate space you want to be in trust me it brings and it provides everything you want so whatever is your happiness money um travel the right friends the right family um beautiful ambiance or what people like to the aesthetics you know of life the you get what you what you work for, what you put, whatever's in your mind, you bring it to fruition based on work, manifestation. Manifestation is the word. That is the word. You want to manifest what is it you're after. You can't manifest what's in your dreams by standing still like a statue, you know? It just don't work like that. 
Um, you want to put out the energy that will bring you closer to what it is you want out of life. And um, like I said, I've been having a ball with living minus the the upsets that come with life. You know what I'm saying? It it just comes, and you can't and you can't um uh necessarily let the upsets take you down. You know what I'm saying? Like use the upsets to to bring you courage, bring you a new sense of knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, and and take on life more courageous, more fearless, more determined. You know. And um, for me, it's like right now is I'm in a space like after this weekend that just passed where I, I got to meet Usher and so many other great people I've, I've been inspired by since I was a, a child to meet a lot of these people, shake their hand, give them a hug, get one on one conversations and hear things that that sp- sprung me up. It was like if my well, if my well was clogged a little bit, it was like. People were saying the right things to me that was just unclogging me, and it, it was bringing a lot of a lot out of me. So it was just like, yo, um, if you want more of that out of your life, it's like you gotta really go for what you believe in. Really go for what you believe in, because maybe where you're at, you're not getting a lot of stuff that's gonna unclog you. Granted, unclogging yourself starts with self. So you got to keep up with the daily work to unclog yourself daily. However, it definitely feels good to go out into the earth, pass through the world and know that there are people that don't want it, want nothing from you, but the best for you. You know what I'm saying? That's dope. That's what I like. You know, I like coming across people like that because I get to make them feel good. They get to make me feel good. And it's a plus. It's not like, oh, it start. I feel good starts with them. No. I feel good starts with me and then they just bring the extra, you know, and the extra is always a beautiful thing. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody tuning in, Mr. Network. Yo, my boy, Carlos Wagwan, I see you winning. I see you winning. May everybody on this timeline be winning. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm here. I'm here to share the winning energy, the winning spirit, the winning vibes. You know what I'm saying? So may your, may, may your, um, your daily goals that's a part of your vision whether um sh- um what is it uh short term goals that go into the long term goals make sure you knock these things out one day at a time for every day you're alive whoever your maker is my maker is Jesus so at the end of the day I thank my lord for day in day out day in and day out getting to it pursuing what it is that I'm after so um and another thing is like what I noticed especially this weekend um, it ke- it reminded me that no matter how awesome life gets, no matter how awesome life gets, you'll know when to be, um, uh, what's the right word? <sighs> Boisterous. You'll know overall in succeeding, you want to make sure on the foundation of your life, humbleness is there. You treat people that's at the high and at the low the same. Because if you feel good about you, you want them same people to feel right the same way right with you. And like I said, um, for my life, I go outside into the world with love. And when I know I'm not getting it in return, that's how I always know that there's going to be a disconnect because you don't have the love that I have, the love that I feel, the love that I know. So that's how I I interact knowing that, you know, some things are just going to be different. And overall, I don't let the difference of others override how I feel because I truly believe love is the most powerful thing on the earth, especially the love of God in Jesus name. So. That is my protection. That is that is my um that is my shield. That is my strength. That is my oh, you know? So um again, when you go out into the world, the people that you see yourself coming up with, you know what I'm saying? No matter if one event came and, and it sprung you up, another event and it sprung you up, again, don't ever walk into other rooms feeling like Yo, I'm better than this person. I'm better than that person. Let you always feel about yourself. I'm better than me. 
I'm better than me. And if the energy of I'm better than me resonates onto other people like, yo, this person is this, this person is that. That's just their misinterpretation of you. Because if they were supposed to ask you questions like, yo, why do you carry yourself like that? Why do you move like such? Why is it that? Like, yo, listen, everybody, everybody's level of confidence is at a different level. Some have it more than others. Some people's level of fearlessness is at a different level than others. Some people's determination is at a different level than others. And overall, it's like, instead of being quick to say, yo, this person is, is, uh, uh, um, damn, what's the word? Um, arrogant. You know what I'm saying? Instead of saying, yo, this one is arrogant, find out why they're confident. Don't jump to conclusions. That's the easiest way to look like a fool, you know? So don't jump to conclusions. Don't jump out the window based on how you feel. Don't lean to your own understanding. The best thing you can do is ask questions. Why do you move the way that you move? Because I can tell you right now, I say, I believe I say the right prayers and I do the right things to manifest a higher level of confidence that will make me smile, that will make me treat people better, that will make me do certain things where I know when I walk in the room, I can shift it based on the energy and the spirit of the Lord that dwelleth in me. So if I continue to feed how I feel about myself in truth, in love and in light, I guarantee you everywhere I go, I have no reason to treat people bad at all. I have no reason to treat people bad at all. And I have no reason and I won't allow anybody to treat me bad. You see? I don't feel bad and I won't let you treat me like, oh, I'm supposed to be treated bad. So, overall, remove yourself from the comfortability where mediocrity reigns supreme. And take your life. Every day into the unknown, wanting to achieve what it is that you're after. Do not settle. Do not settle. Do not wait. Do not settle and do not wait. Yes, you do. Death and life is in the power of the tongue and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. The things that come out your mouth. Yes. Be mindful. Be mindful. Just imagine like that Eddie Murphy movie. I think it's called A Thousand Words. Something like that. Correct me if I'm wrong. But it definitely was an Eddie Murphy movie where he had a certain amount of words he can use. Be mindful. Be mindful of the life or the death that comes out your mouth. Be mindful. Be mindful of how you talk to people. You know what I'm saying? Be mindful. Righteous lips are the delight of kings and they love him that speaketh right. Pleasant words are as in honeycomb, sweet to the soul and health to the bones. Be careful how you speak to people. Speak life into people. Trust me, they'll, 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 you'll get a better response even in the midst of how they feel about themselves. Yeah. And it, and it should make you feel good to speak life if you have life in you. Straight. So, I didn't want to come up here and take up a lot of your time. I definitely just wanted to come in here and give y'all a piece of me through spoken word because I have a lot to say at times and a lot of times I don't really say it to a lot of people because, again, one thing I know about life is I shall not throw my pearls to the, sw to the swine. So, at the same time, for those that check in, you're going to get something good from me. This is the engaging with Moonwalker Swizz. I get to engage with you. You get to engage with me. We get to build a vibration where love is, where light is, where understanding is, where knowledge is, where wisdom is, where Jesus is. So um, I just want to continue to be a light, be salt, be flavor, be something good beyond myself onto others. So I'm going to continue to make my mark on the hearts and the minds and the spirits of men, women and children by doing what I love and separating it for all to get in its proper um, space. Because every men and women of adult adults deserve it in one space and children deserve it in another. So you have to separate the two. So I'm going to make sure I continue to do so. And let the people that's listening out there that's adults with children, you know what I'm saying, be mindful 
I don't come in here to necessarily um, deter your child from anything crazy. I know I'm an adult. I live an adult life. And at the same time, I just want to make sure that I have, like I said, I got nieces and nephews. I don't have my own children yet. However, I do cater to my nieces and nephews with the mind of a king, giving them the jewels that they need to enrich their life as they enjoy life as children. So I, I want kids to remain children in that space. I don't want no child to ever be harmed, to ever come into a fast life because of a lifestyle we adults live and we don't separate, we don't protect the children enough. And we need to get into that space where we don't allow our children to see certain things. At the same time, when a child is coming into an age, we do not lie to our children. I think it's best that you be transparent with your child in its seasons to come. Because the best way for your child to learn how to win over the world is by you educating them to how you won over the world. So you have to be transparent and don't front for your child. You have to let your child know what you've been through, how you how you overcome it, how you conquered it, how you triumphant um, in this situation. So... um. Again, you want to make sure you don't lie to your children and don't lie to yourself. And you ain't got to lie to nobody for the most part. Because again, anybody in their right mind living their truth, being their truth and doing what the truth does. You ain't got no reason to lie to people. Again, be fearless. Be fearless. Be fearless. Nobody on the earth. Nobody on the earth. Nobody on the earth, nobody on the earth should ever put you should ever put you in a place where you feel like you have to be lesser than any any time you ever in a space and around people who make you feel like you got to be a lesser version of yourself. Get away from those people. You want to be around people who want to see the best of you and all of you come out shine bright like a diamond. Do not be around people who want to see you. Be less than the people who love you and the people who care about you don't care if you're on the same level as them or on a higher level. They just want you to be happy in your truth in peace. So if you're in a, if you find yourself in a space that you find yourself being less than or you have to dim down your light, get away from that environment. Get away from that, those people. Get away from that atmosphere. Get away from that mindset. You are, not, you are not birthed into the world to be less than. And you don't have to be in competition with anybody to feel less than. The only competition you should worry about is you, yourself, and that mirror with the reflection you see. That is it. How other people feel about you. Listen, don't even let it bother you. However, the people you need to be around is the people that genuinely love you and don't want nothing from you but just love in return. Things come and go. People that you love, that's a different thing. It's a different feeling. It's a different vibe. It's, it's a different connection. Things come and go. They come and go. Things get destroyed, but a life is something else. So again... Live your life fearlessly. Go be one with your goals. Be one with your vision. Be one with yourself, your maker in Jesus' name, and people that really love you. The minute you see that these things are not what they what they need to be, just remove yourself. Don't even try to, I want you to change and da da da, da like please just for me. No. Don't stress yourself out trying to change people. That's not your job. Stress yourself out to change yourself. Stress yourself out to change yourself. The minute you start seeing things is just not adding up around you. Again, remove yourself. You can pray. You can fast. Do what you got to do. Just don't do it in the space where you seem to be confused. Or people are trying to confuse you, manipulate you. Again, you want to be in a space where you are at ultimate peace. Ultimate peace. Ultimate peace. Living in your truth. 
fearlessly. Nobody can tell you about you because you told the world about you. Okay? Okay. So, with that being said, shouts to everybody who tuned in. This is a, a segment that I created called Engaged with Moonwalker Swizz. I want to talk to the people. You know what I'm saying? I got a lot of light and love and great advice to give because along my journey, I'm not going to tell you I've seen it all and done it all because I'm not here to do it all, but I will tell you if I've seen it. So, with that being said, in Jesus' name, I hope <laughs> y'all enjoyed your Resurrection Sunday. I hope that anything you ever see me post on my timeline inspires you to turn up. Turn up. You look at your situation be like, yo, my situation could be better because Moonwalker Swizz is out here turned up. I got to turn my situation up. That's it. That's all I want to see y'all do. Turn up. Turn up. Get more money. Love y'all. Barry, I love you. All my Florida family, I love y'all. All my Cali family, I love y'all. All my New York family, all my Canada family, all my massive over overseas. Shouts to everybody who tuned in. Like I said, this is going to be an every Sunday thing. Noah. Noah, we still got to go out, Noah. You got some information for me, Noah. We got to take this to another level, you see? We got to take this to another level. So shouts to everybody. Like I said, every Sunday... We're going to do this. Engage with Moonwalker Swizz. I'm going to come in here. We're going to have the, some of the dopest hot topics. Tell your friends to tell a friend every Sunday. This is what we're going to do. Just check my IG live. I'm going to give y'all time. Whatever. And we're just going to get lit. We're going to have a ball. All of y'all can check in. I want to see everybody's face. I want to see every. I want to see everybody tuned in. Share your gems and all that. So overall, this is Moonwalker Swizz. I had a great time with y'all. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for um, sharing your energy with me. Thank y'all for the good news in return on reading everybody's comments. And um, let's just keep the good energy going. You know what I'm saying? It's the first day of the week. And Jesus has risen. And he's still alive shaving people. You know what I'm saying? Winning souls. So, with that being said, everybody enjoy a good week. May, may when you go to work... You go in there with a smile. Remember, the people at the workplace is not your problem. You go there to make your money and go home. If you got some real friends in the workplace, cool. Other than that, you go to work, get your money, go home. And start getting back to investing in your dreams. Start doing, start manifesting your dreams. You know what I'm saying? Because if that workplace is your dream space, cool. You there already. Just keep continuing to grow in that space. Other than that... For the ones who know that that workspace ain't the dream, go get your money, say hi, say bye, go about your business, and keep manifesting what you want to come out of the rest of your life. You know what I'm saying? So, enjoy a great work week this week. Like I said, manifest your goals. Go hard. Do not waste time. Do not wait for nobody. If you could get it done yourself, do it, do it, do it. So, um, God bless y'all. Thank you again. Thank you all the time and thank you always. It's your boy Moonwalker Swizz. Shout out to everybody who love me. I love you. Um, it's Paul Six Forever. I love my brother. I miss him daily. So, we gonna keep it going and we gonna keep it rocking like that. So, when you see me in the streets, say hi. Give me a hug. Handshakes, daps. I love the love. Because if it ain't love, I'm curving you. <laughs> so, I'll see y'all later on another day. Later.